the last campaign actually we have been going through a, a brand um, introspection and uh, while we have many products uh, panels or what you call ply and what we call panels uh, is our bread and butter business so that's the big one uh, one of the key things in this category is advertising has been ad hoc across the category from competition from us there has been no serious brand building or category building forget brand even category building has not happened so what has really happened is um, people still see this as a commodity last time i met you I, i think it was still the same thing but my conviction continues that we will make this a paints kind of a category where the commodity becomes a brand i hope competition also follows suit and gives us good advertising propositions for the consumers to make this category into a consumer brand within that introspection we realized that one of the key issues for people not understanding plywood is also because it's a background product you don't really see that product or feel that product and hence maybe your involvement with the product is not too high or um, you have not given it a thought as a consumer um, for that kind of a product but what you don't realize is using bad quality or poor quality has a cost to it a cost of replacement and a cost of social embarrassment these are the two pillars that we build our latest campaign on the cost of replacement can be very high it can be actually replacing your whole interiors that you have made which includes your laminates veneers paints everything else because the plywood inside was bad it got borer infested termite infested or water infested or whatever happened so hence this campaign is built on that the campaign idea is interesting but the objective is to instill in the minds of consumers the fact that the cost of using bad quality and that technically is category agnostic you know cost of replacement and the social embarrassment is best avoided by using the right quality so that is the basis of the campaign it's just become more effective i think i mean that's about it i mean century ply has not been known for and i don't have any qualms of saying this has not been known for very continuous advertising but good advertising it has done good advertising but not very continuous sustained brand building advertising it's only last 3 years that we are sustaining our advertising the good part has been retained mm-hmm. i think the tvcs and the rest of the campaigns have been appreciated and uh, that kind of keeps us going and getting more excited about it we use the best of the people to create these campaigns so uh, that's been the sus- continuity in that bit what has come in of course is that we have started uh, using digital to a great extent to a fu- to a much larger extent than we earlier did or believed in that medium and uh, uh, retail saliency has come up in a big way so it's almost now slowly becoming a consumer brand so people see century ply more often than they used to earlier while it was earlier restricted to influencers and trade today consumers get to see century ply more often and eventually i think hence they will start believing in the brand also far better than the current earlier did so that's the way it is right? gst is going to be a great market leveler in this category they will be affecting many more categories of course but for commodity categories for uh building material categories etc which has a lot of unorganized market it's going to be a great level up one it will help us reduce our prices dramatically i mean we are perceived as a costly product which we have no qualms about because we give that kind of quality but it will still help us bring down our cost in a manner or and hence price in a manner so there will definitely be an effect to that the other part with the bigger part is that the unorganized market will be shaken up they will not be able to afford this kind of pricing that they currently play on the undercutting that they currently do the local market playing that they do they cannot do that now 
so that will ensure that their prices come up quite much so hence the consumer hence will have a, so if their difference was almost 30% 40% now between a branded product versus an unbranded product it will come down to 10% so to that extent what will happen is a consumer would rather pay that 10% extra for far superior quality than afford uh, or take a unbranded product and uh, kill himself for that so you know uh, that is going to be a major leveler in the industry also it will make our life far more simpler both for dealers trade channels consumers because it's one india one pricing after that you know so the mrp in real sense will come up yeah so it's one india one pricing kerala pricing versus kashmir pricing will be the same and that's for most products yeah so that's going to change consumer behavior completely so that is going to affect industry and many other categories together good step taken